last bit was just do a bit of Irish talk and, and kind of big stories for uh, clear up the Irish players for the week yeah uh, was that basically uh, there was the tweet sent out uh, by McLean yeah uh, someone tweeted him going um, why don't you show any passion or anything when you're playing for West Brom and he tweeted back saying hard to show passion when you don't play at all well he's not wrong um, I think at this point it's time for McLean to realise again and he's had to do it a couple of times in his career that he needs to move he needs to go somewhere else I think um, yeah, sorry, go. do you think he's dropped down a level I don't think it would do him any harm to be completely I honest I feel but, as though he's going to go to Celtic yeah oh yeah no, he that, wants, that to, go, could be, he wants that to go could to Celtic be. and Shane Duffy had an Instagram story <laughs> slagging him going oh Brendan sign me yeah uh, so all the signs are pointing for maybe in January that if he continues playing like he does for Ireland that he yeah. could go to Celtic whether that's a good move for him look, look the one thing with McLean is McLean I have no issue obviously when we talk about Ireland I constantly slag off lads you're playing Scotland and go yeah well what's the point you're, playing against, yeah, you're playing against a lot of bin men every week um, <laughs> but with McLean it wouldn't bother me purely for the fact that James McLean has never relied on his club for him for how he plays for Ireland and I would just prefer, even if James Clint goes to the championship, if he went to the New York Red Bulls like he nearly did a few years ago, whether he goes to Celtic, it doesn't matter. Just getting game time, just getting playing every week. That's all the that matter. I think Celtic's you good just need a match fit. That's all you need when McLean is just in match fit for internationals because that's what he wants to do. Yes, he plays club football as his day to day job, but James McLean, I think, would associate him as an Ireland player before he's wouldn't a West it be Brown nice? Player wouldn't it like be that. nice to see a player kind of in his passion in the Champions League as well, though? I I I I I'd like it. I'd like if he went to Celtic. Imagine him with a stick of stick him at right back against Neymar. Oh, well, he break his leg within two minutes and then just get well, Neymar. Well, Neymar showed at the weekend that he gets a little bit touchy at times. So two yellow cards in two minutes. It would but. it would uh, it would depend on whether Rogers fancies him. He uh, McLean himself. He's always tweeting about Celtic, and if they're, if they're playing, he'll be tweeting. Yeah, he's always games, watching. If they get a result, he'll always put yeah, it up. Um, there's obviously the whole, you know, self playing just thing. He likes to jump on board with that. And the Catholic Protestant stuff. What? Yeah. See, I'd love to see McLean. See, the more we're kind of talking about this, the more I'm like, get him to Celtic. I want uh, to see an old. I think there'd be a lot of. I think, I think they'd actually get. They'd actually get a lot of shirts out of it. I think. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like he's 28, nearly 29. Why not do it now? Yeah, it as you say, it'll just be a it'll be a thing of whether uh, he he they want him. To go there, it would be an issue if Rogers wants him. What? But in saying that, if he couldn't go to Celtic, would you rather see him go to maybe a Southampton sort, or would he get no. into Hampton? I don't no. think he play. plays now. Burnley, just anywhere but Southampton. Burnley, okay. Burnley, but all the lads. Burnley are kind of turning into the Ireland team. Like. Yeah, Bur- like Burnley, it, it might be overkill at that point. It, It'd be we, like in fantasy when you have too many players from one club, like yeah, they're just not allowed to play them. Like. Yeah, they'd just be. I'd, if Burnley would suit him for his style of play, obviously. Like but, Brady there too, yeah. Yeah, Brady, Hendrick, Walters, Ward, Kevin Long. Am I missing I anyone? I think they have a few in the U team as well. Yeah, I think so. A few young players, yeah. Um, I think Burnley would make sense, obviously, in a way. Um, where else in the Premier League? You're kind of... Stoke? No, St- Stoke are much more the, you know, ex-Champions League, starless in their front three like is he going to get in there ahead of Hesse and yeah. all that I don't I think struggle to think of anywhere else could go in the Premier League uh, I would say Bournemouth but Eddie Howe only signs English players West Ham played God no I hope not because then he will be playing in the Championship next year but if he went to West Ham I think he'd be abused by the yeah, West Ham fans yeah, that's stuff problem. and all that yeah, sort of that's stuff. Yeah. West Ham would be a Celtic's probably player. the best option for him and most realistic option I think I think that could happen Celtic um even a, as weird as Cardiff in the championship. No, I don't want to be going to the championship. Oh, I've never liked Cardiff. It's a step yeah. down for him. Yeah, but Celtic is also a step down quality wise. That's the thing. He step obviously he'd be playing the Champions League next season. But he won't be playing it in this season. By the time he got there in January, they'd be out. You could see him going to a hall or something like not. Yeah, necessarily. even somewhere like that. But I'd love to see him go to a Cardiff or a Sheffield United, even or something like. that. Well, no, not Sheffield United, actually. That's end this spot, left wing back. Um, but a team at the top of the championship who are challenging for promotion and winning games, he could be a player who kind of steps him over the line. And then if we do get to a World Cup, 
suddenly if he's just won the championship or something like that or got promoted from the championship of the team, he's playing every week, he's going to be sky high confidence wise, even more so. I would rather he went to SPL in the championship. Yeah, I, I'd say if he's going to move, like, why not tell him? But uh, anyway, let, guys, let us know your thoughts on, on McLean and you know not getting in for West Brom. He's obviously been hugely influ- influential for us and uh, brilliant for us. I, I mean, it's keeping him fresh in on the bench for West Brom, isn't it? So it was fresh for the Rust, Rust, Rustiness kind of comes into play too. Though. Yeah. But uh, Shane Long um, is actually still getting starting games and you forget still he's not scoring goals. Sometimes, don't you? Sorry? You forget Shane Long to full pop into the international break. No, you forget he's a striker. Well, no, he forgot, well, he was, he forgot he that a year and a half ago, I think. What? He forgot that a year and a half ago. Um, I watched him the other night. He just he does not look like scoring a goal anytime soon. No. And it's a worry for us. I think, uh, it's pro- I'm probably going to get hammered for it, but I think he should drop down a level. And yeah. just rediscover Actually, his goal. Actually, him and just both sides. No, a million, percent, a million percent. Long, not even Celtic. I just Long don't needs think to go he, championship. Yeah. Long has always scored goals in championship. I think he just needs to... Just to I think you could still get into the Premier League teams. I mean, this might sound as a slight on Shane Long, but I think Shane Long needs to realise he's more David Nugent than Robbie Keane. And he needs to go down to the Championship where he has proven time and time again he scores goals. Yeah. Because a confident Shane Long who's scoring goals is the best Shane Long. It's better for us. Yeah, well. it's better for Ireland, it's better for him. The SPL or the Championship, that makes no odds for him one of those two because he'll score goals in either of them Premier League he could go to City and not score goals he just doesn't have the quality finishing wise to score goals in the Premier League consistently he never has Yeah, I think he's broken double figures once in his Premier League career West Brom maybe. probably yeah. yeah I think once with West Brom and I think that might be it He's got nine if know, he, Reading, he Yeah, but he could go. I think once he got eleven for Reading, or maybe even nine in the league. But he didn't score that many. But he could league. drop down like Murphy, and then it, yeah, it, it, it's going to help us in, as well because we we realistically we're going to get another campaign out of him. Yeah, and I think he needs to focus on that where he goes right. I, I just, just think to... right now he needs a goal to win off his ass. From, yeah, from a corner <laughs> or something. Yeah, I think he does need a goal to bring the confidence back, but. At the point where he's missing chances against Moldova and everything, he's even going to get a goal in the Premier League. Like, well, I just, just keep plugging away. Like I've seen far worse strikers um, start and do well. Like he's, he's far better than Newman. Yes, mm, yeah, he is. Goal scoring wise, I'd have Nias. If I had to back Nias some, score. If I had to back someone to score a goal, I'd back Nias over Shane Long. At this moment in time, yeah. But in terms yeah. of overall, like in, the, in terms of their both careers, you'd be getting probably more Shane Long. Yeah. But um, anyway, that's besides the point. Would uh, you take Shane Long at Everton? Yeah. Jesus. What? Well, I said last year I'd take you, him too. You really are in a relegation battle, aren't you? <laughs> no, just, he, would do the, he would do the donkey work. Would yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but like, would understand. it be him doing understand. the donkey work, but would he find the back of the net? Yeah. Well, I'm sure if he would. If he, if he had the right players around him, I don't think he's the right players around him at um, Southampton. But uh, as I say... Um, let us know your thoughts on Shane Long uh, can he get a goal does he need a move let us know uh, Shane Duffy uh, uh, he's always got a little smile on your face when we talk about yeah. Shane the man yeah uh, come back from injury after heading away uh, Hurricane Ophelia fair play to him I tell you yeah, 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 handing off Storm Brian <laughs> yeah. uh, I just slow tag a lot yeah he's like right. he's like the wall at Helm's Deep like, <laughs> you just couldn't get past him like. You might be able to um, topple the Berlin wall. Well, I'll never talk I suppose Shane Duffy. Duffy three 0 against um, West Ham. Uh, another clean sheet, and you know he's coming in for some high praise from one of the best Premier League defenders of all time, uh, Jamie Carragher. And <laughs> what? What? Best best Premier League defenders of all time. It's a bit one of it, it, that's a st- it, it, it's it's a stretch. I wouldn't have him in my top ten. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm just had. I'm just mildly trying to take shots at Liverpool fans. That's all I'm doing. Well, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, well, he... he no, no, yeah, it is high price. He, he was really good last night. Um, solid. Aerial. Just couldn't be beat in the air. Yeah. A few goal-scoring opportunities. The thing is with him as well, though, it's another good performance and everything like that, but it's against West Ham. And let's be fair, West Ham are trash. West Ham are down already. Is unless Billich, they, Billich is unless they get rid next. of Billich and West Ham fans, you know, swallow their tongue and yeah, go they, right. They go Sam Allardyce is the only man who's going to save us. Yeah, but Duffy, like Duffy's a good defender. Duffy's a good Premier League. Yeah. 
he's a good Premier League defender, but at the same time, I've always said there is a limit to what Shane Duffy can do in the Premier League because of the type of defender he is. But at Brighton, and for a team who does defend a good bit, he is perfect. And because he's always he's a, he's a, cause he's always a lift. Yeah. He wouldn't be good at the top side because he wouldn't have that much to do. Like I've seen, he's not a good enough passer the ball to be at the top side either. Yeah, I've seen people like were tweeting going out and genuinely have. Shane Duffy in, in the Liverpool team and all this and I was just like no you wouldn't because they don't obviously watch him so just listen, they obviously just listen to Carragher yeah. yeah like he's good but he hasn't got the concentration levels he's as, not that good same of a ball playing centre back but the same as Kieran Clark they're just concentration you know have a coffee before I, the game lads yeah like I like I like Shane Duffy and he's a good defender and he's great well, for Ireland and everything like that yours. but Shane Duffy playing a high line would terrify me like It'd be like Martin Saka playing a high line. Yeah, he needs to sit deep. He doesn't have a lot of pace. He needs to sit deep. He needs to be a deep player like Brighton do where him, Dunk and Bruno and whoever they play. I think they played Bong at left back last Friday. Him? Bong. Oh, yeah, Jay yeah. Pan Bong, yeah. I've seen their, their, their starting level look like a stag dude. Too, yeah. The Brighton team. <laughs> He's pretty, like, he is perfect for that deep defensive line that Brighton play. You know, they've got a 37-year-old at right back. They've got a central defender playing left back on Friday and Duncan Duffy in the middle. That's fine. And he deserves the praise for the way he's playing for them. But if Liverpool fans are starting to cry out for him to come to them, that's it's not what Liverpool fans need. And that's definitely not what Ireland need. Duffy is grand at Brighton. Leave him there. He's playing well. He's playing every If he week. wants to come across the other side of the and back to us, if we come back. I was actually really sad that he left. Let's, let's he was act. offered a three-year contract. In fairness to him, and I always respect him, is he was offered a three-year contract with Everton and decided that he wanted to go to, I think it was Blackburn, yeah. uh, to get first-team football. So he went there. So yeah. I've got to respect that because he wasn't getting lucky with uh, Martinez. Yeah. And that was that. Right, move into the Championship anyway. Will we finish up? Yeah. Move okay. into Conor Horan. Yeah. And his and performance. And uh, assist as well. Yeah. Um, you know... Uh, he should be getting a look in his Irish team will he though um, realistically I don't think till after the uh, um, playoffs no he's not going to play in either of the playoffs and if we make it to the World Cup I also don't think he'd play um, but I think after it there needs to be a reshuffle and he needs to be a part of it he needs to be a part of the team's plans and he's a player who Ireland at the minute, with when we're playing with Hendrick, Arthur, Myler, McCarthy, Will, all good players, but Horahan gives you something entirely different. He's a much better passer of the ball. He's much better going forward. He's composed in front of the goal. He cre- he provides assists for midfield, which a lot of the others don't do on a consistent basis. He he's arguably going to be Wezzo's successor. In a way, yeah. In a way, you can't be. Unless Ireland fans are going to be like, oh, well, Wes can still do a job at 39. Yeah, playing no, in the league. But playing in League 2 for Chesterfield or something like that. He'd probably still do a job. Um, probably still be our best player, too. Like, look, even other players in the Championship of that ilk, like Liam Kelly's still getting in at yeah. Reading and stuff like that, and he deserves a look in. Um, do I dare go back to the well? Um, and the Stevens deserves a look in within the squad as well. He does now. Fairness, yeah, you're always banging on about, him, but his assists don't lie. Doherty, even at Wolves, yeah. is and you look where they are in the, the league. In the league yeah. yeah, lads full of confidence playing every week. Is that at this point that should they not be the backup players ahead of the kind of more experienced lads who are just a John O'Shea who's just floating around the squad at this point? But you point? know, O'Neill, yeah, but and we've talked about it so much times, he's just, he's a conservative manager, he knows his guys, and he doesn't really want to dwell. But I think he's, he's got a settled, a settled team now that's got him this far into the thing, that I think he trusts yeah. the squad, and to go against some of them now, I think would, would look bad on him. Because he has that trust with those and players. And he always has that thing where when it's put up and when we need a performance, those guys do it for him. Yeah, so but why would you why would you stay? I think he just keeps Whelan and um, O'Shea around the squad. Well, I think uh, Whelan, I think, still has a little bit of a job. Yeah. Whereas O'Shea, I think, is done. But he's just there for experience, to talk to the lads, put the arm around the shoulder. Yeah, and if there is a complete injury crisis, you know that even if you have to play two yards deeper in defence, you can rely on him a little bit. Yeah. Would you say where is this going to the World Cup? <laughs> I think he has to. He only needs one because to be, get him out of a wheelchair. <laughs> I think he, he'll have to go because there'll be an outcry uh, otherwise. I'm done for you to leave RTE. 
he would yeah. full on leave RTE. If but it depends West on what, it depends on what happens in the second half of the season because if some if some of those players get promoted with their club, they are by within right in form and should be in the squad. But I mean, like, look, if we obviously it's hypothetical with the World Cup because we still have to get past Denmark. Yeah. If you were to get to the World Cup, Coleman's gonna be back. So Christie moves to second choice right back, which I still don't really agree with. I think Doherty's better defensively. Yeah. Um Stevens has to Stevens or Cunningham, one of the two, has to get a look back in at left back because we need another left back. You can't just go Stephen Ward suspended in your third group game. Oh, Robbie Brady's been great for two games on the right wing. Ah, put him a left back. Can't do it. Robbie Brady's too important attacking wise for Ireland. Especially when we play with that three, whether it's Murphy or Long up front, we've got McLean and Brady either side. They give you what Ireland need. Brady gives you the delivery. Um, McLean gives you the directness. And you're taking Brady out of the position that you need him to be in because Martin O'Neill's scared to bring a fella who doesn't have a cap into the squad. Yeah. At that's some why I think point, the, these the, guys have to come in. I think the international friendly is just after Christmas in January. Um, they'll be. I think people will be brought in. And yeah. you know, give them a serious look and say, "Oh, can they do it?" So yeah. even a Liam Kelly, like you need to look if Wes does get injured or Wes falls off a cliff, um, you need to look at a player like that to bring him. Connor. Yeah, but even Kelly, who is basically Wes Hillan, he, he's the same. He plays the exact same type of play, plays in the same areas, but he's twenty-one years old. You have to have a look at him and go right. Well, if Wes does get injured or Wes is just in horrendous form. That maybe if Kelly's playing well, and maybe if Kelly has a couple of caps under his belt and friendlies, maybe you bring him, and he's going to be better for Euro twenty twenty, and the qualifiers for that if he's got a couple of games under his belt before that. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, I think we'll we'll leave it at that. But, uh, thanks very much for watching. Let's know your thanks thoughts on uh, our average talk. Um, anything to add? Anything you'd like us to talk about in the future? Let us know below. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV.